My name is Maddie and I'm a young champion with the Anna Freud National Centre for Children and Families. So I think it's really important that school and college staff use correct terminology when it comes to referring to young people's mental health because they're not as trained as CAM staff in mental health and the language used around how students are feeling can have a real impact on their opinions of their mental health and their opinions of themselves. So with younger students, it's really important that things aren't overcomplicated, aren't, over clinical, aren't overly clinical, so that they don't get confused or feel misunderstood. And it's really great if staff could mirror the way that students are talking. So if they're using more casual language, to use that back. And if not, just copy the kind of vocabulary they're using so that they feel they're being communicated with properly. Um, in older students, it's really important not to um, trivialise the way they're feeling, such as, uh, are you a bit sad today? I think it'd be much better to use open questions, such as, how are you feeling today, honestly? Or, how is your mental health today? Which students can answer in their own way and hopefully open up to more. So it's really important that language use isn't too complicated for young students. It's really important to mirror the way students are talking and not to be dismissive of the way that students are feeling. This all will lead them to feel more able to trust and feel more supported and comfortable. I'm Selena Jones and I am a young champion. Uh, I think it's really important for CAMS workers and teachers to be in contact because it allows teachers to sort of question maybe a change in a child's behaviour or attitude towards school or learning and see if it's a problem which um, a CAMS worker can deal with or if they should the teacher should be dealing with it themselves. Like, often a child's behaviour will change in school due to things outside of school or how they're feeling, their confidence may change, how involved they are in a class may change. And if a teacher can be in contact with a CAMS worker, it would allow them to find out if there's an actual problem behind this because obviously you want a child to be enjoying their school time and their school environment as it's a really important part of growing up and shaping who you are. Teachers meeting of CAMS workers in courses such as the LINK programme is really important because it allows teachers to learn about things which could be triggering to those students they have who they know have problems outside of school and also it could allow the teachers to learn ways to build resilience within their pupils which is a really important skill to take into later life. I'm Michelle, I'm a young champion. I had a positive experience of communication between my teachers and CAMS when I was in school. They had regular contact when necessary to discuss how I was feeling both inside of school and outside of school. Uh, this allowed my teachers to better understand my needs and facilitate where necessary. For example, with a separate room for exams and timed essays and also uh, safe places throughout the school for if I needed it during lessons. Um, they communicated through emails, phone calls, with my permission. Uh, this made my experience at school a lot easier because I felt comfortable and safe and I felt understood on both sides so I didn't have to repeat myself all the time. One of my teachers would check in on me three, four times a week um, and see how things were going and check that I was getting supported enough, which made me feel a lot safer and more comfortable. When I went to school, I had to go back a year and in my new year, uh, I had a different head of year. Now, she was a really effective lady. She came to all my meetings, including when I was in hospital. So that included some travel. She came to CAMS, she made contact with my CAMS. And she always made sure to speak to me as well. So I found her really helpful in bridging the gap between schools and CAMS and in helping my, my mental health while I was at school.